For midnight, the state of Georgia executed its first death row inmate in more than four years. That execution was delayed for several hours after an appeal. Atlanta News First's Rick Fulbaum joins us. Rick, the Supreme Court declined to intervene in this case. That's right. The court did not explain its reasoning, which is often the case in emergency appeals. The execution, Georgia's first in more than four years, was carried out by lethal injection at 11.03 p.m. at a prison in Jackson. That's about 50 miles south of Atlanta. Pi did not make a final statement. Alicia Yarborough was 19 years old when her ex-boyfriend Willie Pye and two others attempted to rob her new boyfriend's house, who she was living with at the time. Pye was convicted in 1996 of several charges, including rape, kidnapping, and malice murder. We spoke with Yarborough's daughter, Tawana Bell, and her cousin, Gernetta Starks, just hours before the execution. And they tell us the entire process has brought them a sense of closure, but it's also been an emotional roller coaster. We are emotionally all over the place. Um, I think it's a numbing feeling right now. It's just really no words to describe um, what we feel, especially to Juana with her experience and everything um, during the hearing on yesterday. Pi's execution marks Georgia's first, as we've said, since January 2020. Executions were halted in the state as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic.